Adam Bates with the Ohio Department of Transportation, and in this video I'll be demonstrating on how to create a PDF portfolio within Adobe Acrobat. Before I start this demonstration, I briefly wanted to state that Adobe Reader cannot support creating PDF portfolios, so you'll either need Adobe Acrobat Pro or Bluebeam Review or some PDF software that can create those type of packages or portfolios. Let's go ahead now and open up Adobe Acrobat Pro. And then we're going to create a PDF portfolio. To do this, we're going to go to File, Create, PDF Portfolio. Now within this dialog, we can add some files by going here to the left and add files. So we're going to navigate to those PDF files that pertain to this project. I'm going to go briefly over some of the naming convention of these files and what they retain within those PDFs. As you can see here, we have the county PID and then plan. And what this is going to consist of is the construction plan sheets, with the exception of the right of way sheets, which are now being separated out to its own PDF, as you can see here, which is the plan right of way. Now, these are still going to be considered part of the overall plan set. It'll only just have its own subset numbering instead of the overall numbering of the sheets. For this reason, we're still going to want you to add this to the sheet index so that they don't get left off of the plans. And now you can see we also have a signature sheet. And what this is going to consist of is your non-sealed signatures. This will include city officials and local officials that need to sign off on certain aspects of the plan set. I also wanted to quickly mention that if your project is considered a multi-part project, then you'll need to also add those to this portfolio as underscore project and then number. I'll also show an example of this up on the screen so that you can better understand the formatting of what I'm talking about here. And I just also wanted to clarify here that we only want one PDF portfolio per project that are needed for this project submission. So now let's go ahead and add these plans to the portfolio by clicking open. Now, depending on how many files you have, this process may take a little bit of time. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'll pick it back up once it's done loading. So once you've loaded in the PDFs, there's a few different options that we could do before we hit the create button here and to verify that the PDFs are which ones we want. You can see here that we have a plus button, so we can actually make this larger so we could take a look at these. Then we can see that we have a digital signature in here. You can also zoom in here and you can browse through the PDFs that are within this PDF portfolio. And now let's go ahead and click create. This may take a little bit of time, sometimes depending on how many PDF files that you're trying to import into the PDF portfolio. So I'm going to pause the video here and then start back up when it has loaded. So once you've created that and it's loaded up, you could see here over on the left we have all of those plan sets there. It's always best practice to click on each one of these just to see the validity of the signatures and also that there haven't been any subsequent changes to those documents since it, the document has been digitally signed. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. And as you can see, this document has not been modified. And you can see here problems with the signatures. So let's take a look at this and we can see here that there still hasn't been any changes to the document. So we're still good there too. And then this last one, we have a digital signature as well. So now that we've verified these, let's go ahead now and click the Save button, either here or we could go to File and then Save Portfolio. And then you're going to navigate to the location you want to save this portfolio. Let's go ahead now and navigate to the location where you want to save the PDF portfolio. As you can see here, you're going to want to initially name the file as follows. Year, month, date, the PID number, and then plan set. Now this is going to be the initial naming for submitting to the district office. Now, once this is received at the district office level and reviewed by 
the PM of that project, this may change based on the type of submission that the project is being filed for. But if it's its first submittal, then it's going to be as filed. Now, this may change to pre-addendum or addendum depending on the type of submission that the project is. If you have any more questions on the naming convention and the submission procedure, I suggest taking a look at the project submission procedure document that's located within our ODOT website, or you can go to the wiki page and there should be a link offered there too. And I'll also post that here on the video. So let's go ahead now and save the file. And now your PDF portfolio is now ready to submit to Central Office. If you have any questions or concerns on what we've just covered within this video, feel free to reach out to us at the Cadent Mapping Services Group via service request here. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can.